Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Plague Inc. Evolved. We're going to hop into this game uh, again. Last time you saw the Neurax Worm, which has a great ending where you take over people's minds. Uh, we are going to go for the Necroa virus this time. Now, this one is really tough, or at least it seems tough. I tried it like five times and then finally beat it. A lot of help from Twitch chat. This, it's 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 difficult to make this work, uh, but man, when it does work, it's amazing. Ooh, we've unlocked Herbophile. Cool. I think Metabolic Jump is still pretty good here. Uh, I probably don't want Darwinist on a virus. Terracite is fine. Actually, do I want Terracite or Aerocyte? Um, I guess Aerocyte works. Aerocyte, give it. Zero file. Herbophile, urban, rural, wet, dry. Go for the dry bonus. And we don't have any of the necrovirus genes. Every time you beat one of the scenarios in this game, not the scenarios, every time you beat one of the campaign levels in this game, one of the main game levels, you get uh, a random gene that you can use in future uh, plays, which is great. But obviously you can see I have a lot of them still locked. So I can't really play with a lot of the things that people usually play with when they do this necrovirus. The necrovirus is very special, very unique, uh, very difficult, at least for me. Anyway, we're going to hop in a normal difficulty. Uh, we're going to need a nice name, of course. Uh, last time we called it Agent Apple. I think that's the one that we won with. Let's make a new one. Uh, necrovirus, necrovirus. Hmm. Ah, immortality. We're going to promise people immortality, but my goodness, do they not know what they're getting into. Welcome back to Plague Inc. You're a necrovirus. We're not, oh, it says we're new, but we're not new. It's just because the game's still, game's still not finished. All right, so we're going to start uh, in Saudi Arabia because it's hot and dry. And hot and dry is a pretty good combo to have. Basically, anywhere you start in the world, you get a bonus resistance to whatever that starting country has. For instance, if you start in Canada, you will have a resistance to the cold. If you start in uh, Ukraine, you'll have a resistance to the cold, you'll have a resistance to wet conditions, and you'll prefer urban areas. If you start in Britain, you'll have resistance to the cold, you'll have specialty for wet areas and you'll prefer urban areas so all these little things you can see down here these little icons UK is rich urban wet uh, cold go to some place like Australia it's rich urban dry uh, hot go to New Zealand and it's just rich and urban it's not wet cold dry hot neither of them go to Russia it's rural wet cold go to Brazil it's rural wet hot so, I mean, these, these little traits, they really do matter when you're looking for the starting resistances that, you, that your disease will have. So, in any case, we're starting in Saudi Arabia, mainly because it's a nice central location between Africa and Asia. We want to infect as much of the world's population as possible. Necrovirus is, is difficulty. But anyway, immortality has begun in Saudi Arabia. Let's hop in. Uh, this is a virus. Um, there's a gene up here we can get which a virus splits its genome into smaller molecules, increases the likelihood of mutations. And that might be really useful, um, but I th I'm not sure if we're going to go for it. Not sure if we're going to go for it. The necrovirus is so unique. What does it do? It makes zombies. Warning, necrovirus identified. Yep, it's been identified. Doesn't, it doesn't do anything yet, but it has been identified. Okay, give me those pop-ups. Yeah. We've infected five people. It's a slow start, isn't it? We've infected six people. All right. Now, we're not going to go for uh, what I typically do, which is uh, get, like, the air and water dispersal. If you want water dispersal, you take saliva one, saliva two, water, water. If you want air, you take blood one, and then you get air one, air two. We're instead going to go for zoonotic shifts. Reason being... This will spread through animals. It will get to humans through animals, and that way it'll have wider 
spread distribution with less notice, at least early on. But you can see it does increase future research speed. So the, when, the, when the humans figure out what's going on, yeah, the humans. When the humans figure out what's going on, they can research the cure faster. But that's okay. We're going to let that happen. You have successfully evolved immortality. Ah! Ha ha! Sorry if I'm quiet. This is the first thing I'm recording today. Immortality begins to spread. All right. I'm going to go for bats. Host range broadens to include bats, which are hard to detect. Increases infectivity and mutation chance. So one of the most annoying things that a nation can do, other than shutting down their airport, other than shutting down their seaport, other than clo closing their land borders, other than killing infected people, the host nation can also uh, kill uh, all their pigeons. They can also uh, kill all their rats and mosquitoes and everything. But they're going to have a tough time getting bats. Bats are hard to detect. So even if they put in these... Uh, safeguards against bats, the bats are still going to get in. Some of them are. So this is a nice way to uh, forcibly continue infecting people. Let's go for bats, baby. More points. We need more bats. We want to spread as much as possible, as fast as possible, as wide as possible. We should be getting to the Middle East and Iraq soon. And Iran. We also have an airport and a seaport, so we could spread that way, too. How much for this? 17 points for the next bats. All right, 17 points. Come on, 17. There's 18. Perfect. Bats, too. Partial genetic activation causes bats to mob and attack humans at night. Significantly increases infectivity, and attacks can be lethal. Well, we don't want them to start killing people, but we do want them to attack people. Go bats. Go get them. Go get them, bats. We're up to 400 people now. And we spread to Iran. Nice. Immortality in Iran. Alright. Now, if we're going to get to some of the richer nations, we're going to need drug resistance. So let's get that going. Richer nations have access to better medicine. Or at least easier access to better medicine. So drug resistance helps in richer nations, like uh, Australia, the UK, Germany, USA. Any place that has the... Um, oh, we're in Madagascar, nice. Any place that has the little symbol right here, looks like a building. Oh, no, not, sorry, not the building. This one looks like a dollar sign. If you have the dollar sign, it means you're a rich nation. You have the better drug resistance. All right, now we need to spread a little more. So let's get some saliva going. Virus rep replicates faster in the salivary glands. So now that we are infected, now that we're infecting more humans, our bats are spreading out, right? Uh, now we're going to start getting the humans to infect each other. That's the next. That's the next thing. First you get the bats, then you get the women, then you get the power. Gastrointestinal expansion. Virus can replicate in the stomach and intestine, increasing infectiousness through feces and vomit. Fuck yeah. Infect those feces and vomit. Nice. We're up to 3 million infected, 5 million infected, 6 million, 7 million. Oh, we're in Iceland. Well, that was unexpected. A direct flight from Saudi... Look at that. See the flight? From Saudi Arabia to Iceland. Neat. From Riyadh. Huh. That was unexpected entirely. All right. Get me saliva too. Next up, we're going to go for uh, water and water too. How much are they? 11 points. Okay. But if we're in Iceland, we probably should get some cold resistance soon-ish. Yeah. We're going to get discovered here. New minor disease spreading. That's okay. In a normal checkup, a doctor in Saudi Arabia has found a new disease which has been named immortality. It appears to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting this disease. Hmm. First death in Saudi Arabia. Oh, I didn't do it. Hey, we're in Russia. Nice. All right, let's get some cold resistance, because we're getting into those cold nations earlier than I thought we would. All right, can we get some water now? Yeah, water one. Nice. How much water two? 18. I want water two. Hey, we're in Canada. Very good, very good. Hey, we're in Mexico. And Turkey. Oh, wow, yeah. Now we're spreading. Now we're spreading. We're in the UK. All right, give me uh, water too. Okay. 
And at this point, that's probably enough transmission. I think we're just going to sit back and uh, relax for now. Yeah, look at those diseased boats sailing around. Madagascar shuts down its seaports. Too late, Madagascar. You're fully infected, bro. Come on, bro. You're fully infected. It's too late. It's too late. Oh, man. More infections. I love it. Those bats are swarming, I tell you. Look at India go. Look at India go. Go, India. Go. Yeah, look at that. How's Iceland doing? Eh, only four infected in Iceland. Pylons, vital to high-tech society. A new energy report confirmed that the need to construct additional pylons in order to ensure a sustainable electricity supply in the future. <laughs> yeah, going through the news is hilarious. All this gray stuff is stuff that didn't actually show up in the news. Uh, okay, look at all these nations starting cure research. Yep, they're working on it, they're working on it. Uh, Egypt legalizes bat killing. India dispenses bottled water. USA closes all ports. Bat killing, bat killing. Iran sets up trauma centers. China bans all flights. Middle East legalizes bat killing. Pylons vital to high-tech society. Lots of good stuff in the news. Hey, we're in Japan. Central Asia dispenses bottled water. We're more infectious than the common cold. Nice. Central America, the Philippines, Ukraine. Ukraine is game to you? No, we're not in New Zealand yet, are we? No, we're not in New Zealand. We're not in Greenland. There's a few key places that we have not made it to. We're not in the Caribbean. Damn. Uh, we're not in New Guinea. Oh, no, we are. We are in New Guinea. Okay. And we are in the Philippines. And we are in Indonesia. Okay, so we got to some of the key places, but we didn't make it to New Zealand. Damn. Italy is leading the cure. Okay. Good luck, Italy. Hey, we got to the Caribbean. Just before they closed their port, too. Nice. Wow, the timing. Come on, keep spreading. Oh, man, we're, we're, look at that. We're flooding China. Perfect. Hey, we're getting free mutations. Good. Colombia. Hey, we made it to New Zealand just before they closed their port. There's only five people who made it in, but they made it in, damn it. Nice. Can we get to Greenland? If we can get to New Guinea as well. If we can get to Greenland, then that'll be every nation in the world. Wow. Oh my goodness. Can we get to Greenland? That is the question. Oh no, the Baltic states have closed their port and that closed their borders. Well, the Baltic state are going to be in for a bit of a surprise then. Yeah, we might we might not even get to these places. Yeah. So Scandinavia is going to be a bit of a holdout, unfortunately. Damn you, Scandinavia. Damn you, damn you, damn you, damn you. That's okay. Keep spreading, my little pretties. Fear has slowed the economy. Fear of immortality is causing the global economic markets to panic. Land, air, and sea trade is slowing as well as economic activity. Okay. But I do still have to slurp my coffee. That will never stop. Okay, more points. Good, good. Oh yeah, there's no points cap. So just because it looks like we're at almost at 100, there's no points cap. There might be in the future. <gasps> we got to Greenland! We did it! We're in every nation in the world. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, but Bolivia has closed its borders, so I don't think we're going to be able to get into Bolivia. Some of these places are going to be real tough. Uh, Bolivia has closed land borders, bat killing legalized. So that's our only real way of spreading, but we have a trick up our sleeve for Bolivia and the Baltic states. Anyone who wants to be a holdout against, against immortality, well, we have a trick for them. Global research focused on a cure. Don't give me that crap. Look at that. Germany's flooded. Wow, USA actually not, not so much. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is really weird. I fully expected this to either spread faster or to uh, fizzle out faster. But it seems like we've reached this weird middle ground where it didn't spread too quickly and it didn't get caught too early. It's very weird. Like, there's only five people in infected in Argentina. That's less than in New Zealand. But New Zealand did get infected. 
So weird. Okay, the Philippines is done, New Guinea's done, Indonesia's done, India's done, China's done. Yeah, we've got a lot of the big populations infected. This is good. All right, so now that we have a ton of this infection going, look at that, there's 5.6 billion infected. Now is the time for us to spring our wonderful surprise. It's time to make zombies. So here are the symptoms list. We haven't done any of this yet because we don't we didn't want the symptoms to be too severe. But now, now we're going for it. Give me that gastroenteritis. Give me that cannibalism, extreme compulsion to bite and eat other humans. Yeah. And then cytopathic reanimation. Formation of complex neural structures enables reanimation of damaged cells and restoration of low-level vitals. Turns dead into zombies. Ooh. And then, of course, you need your anaerobic resuscitation. Infected brain cells switch to anaerobic respiration. Lactic acid buildup is lethal and destroys higher brain processes and personality. Doink! We want our enhanced motor control, nutrient flow to the parietal lobe increased, improving movement and coordination, increases severity, particularly in urban environments. So one thing that zombies do is they fight better based on your severity. So if we can increase the severity down here, we'll get them fighting better. We'll get them fighting, baby. And we want our peptide surge. Growth hormone production triggers extreme metabolism of fat to build muscle. Enhanced strength increases severity. Yeah. Okay. Next thing we need is horde instinct. We need to start running our zombies around. Uh, what the horde instinct does is it lets zombies move from one nation to another. And that is just amazing. It's amazing. Okay, structured travel. Zombies focus on horde leaders, focusing on the horde is on the direction of travel and increasing travel speed. There you go. And we're gonna get floaters, drifting fragmentation. Controlled decomposition causes zombies to bloat. Horde can drift in the sea currents, significantly increasing ocean travel speed. That's right. You can go across water with these babies. It's pretty amazing, actually. Anyway. Uh, we also want to get horde mentality. It increases the size of zombies. I mean, increases the size of hordes. And we want to increase the size of hordes again. And the last one we want down here is to increase the size of hordes again. Let's see if we can't use um, this one to get in uh, some more people to Iceland. But first, watch this. Watch what happens. Uh, this red bar here is the world's current population of infected people. This blue bar is the world's population of uninfected people. And this black bar is the population of the world that are dead. Only 700,000. So let's watch. You're going to get a new thing over here. Active zombies abilities. Yep, yep. Immor immortality begins to reanimate the dead. Immortality is starting to turn infected corpses into zombies and will grow more powerful over time. Humanity has no idea what is about to happen. That's right, they don't. That's right, they don't. There we go. Now we have a new bar in here called Zombies. That's what this little dark red bar is. So we're going to let that grow. 13,000, 80,000. Zombies change everything. We're killing very fast. Good. Killing makes more zombies. Ah, Mexico declares national emergency. Afghanistan shuts down borders. Iran legalizes safe cannibalism. <laughs> what the hell is safe cannibalism? I don't know. Oh, child bites, teachers, finger off. Aw, well, that's just sad. Oh, there we go. Come on, one more. One more. We've killed more than the Black Death. Good. Killed more than the flu. Got a free symptom. Good. Come on, one more point. One more point. There we go. Faced with overwhelming evidence, governments confirm that immortality can trigger pathological aggression in corpses, but say that the situation is under control. Damn right. Now we're going to get horde pheromones. 
which increases the zombie hordes into the millions. Now, well, oh, there we go. Look at those. Look at those zombies. So many zombies. So many zombies. Okay. Now, we have 37 points to play with. It's time to start invading the shit out of people. So we have this our, our ability to use our horde. We're going to use these 46 million zombies from the UK. We're going to invade Iceland. We're going to use these zombies from Mexico. We're going to invade the USA. We're going to use these zombies from Peru. We're going to invade Bolivia. We're going to use these zombies from Brazil to invade Argentina. We're going to use these zombies from... Let's go from Poland into the Baltic states. We're gonna use the zombies from Germany, go into Sweden. And that's what you do. You click on the, the little horde thing and then you move your zombies. We're gonna use our 12 million zombies from Australia over to New Zealand. Who else is not really getting flooded? Uh, Japan could use a little bump. Oh yeah, we got 50 million zombies in Korea. Go Korea, go to Japan. Nice. Uh, who else needs a little bump? Uh, Central Europe could use some. Italy could use some. Oh, the Balkans. Come on, Balkans. Or Spain. Oh, yeah, Spain's got a ton. Yeah, Spain, go to Italy. Make it happen. Now watch what happens. You'll see numbers pop up. Then Let me slow down time for this so you can see. When the numbers pop up, it shows you how many zombies invaded the country. Like, 8 million zombies just invaded the Baltic states. And 7 million just invaded Bolivia. That's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. These invasions. They are going... Look at that. The Baltic just flooded. 18 million zombies just invaded Sweden. Oh, man. This, this is what we need. That's what I'm telling you. 14 million zombies just invaded Japan. Nice. <laughs> Forget Godzilla. The zombies are invading Japan. Uh, can we get from Britain to Greenland? Yes. Go to Greenland, Britain. It costs me four DNA points each time we send the horde. But my god, is it great. All right, Russia, you got 28 million zombies. Go to Finland. Germany, you got um, 43 million zombies. Yep, go to Den go to Norway. Should get to Iceland soon. All right, so we just got a pop up in the Philippines. When you see that pop up, it's a zombie face. It means that the entire population of that nation is now zombies or dead or both. You know, whatever. It's the same thing. Zombies or dead. So we're going to have to check around the world and see if we can find nations that are not infected fully so that we can send zombie hordes after them. Uh, Argentina could use another bump. Go get them, Brazil. Uh, Bolivia. Yeah, we could use some more in Bolivia. Uh, Mexico's good. Central America's good. The Caribbean's good. The USA, yeah, it's probably good. Zombies destroy the UK. Oh, and we just landed a whole bunch in New Zealand as well. Uh, zombies have hunted down the last group of survivors in the UK. There is no one left alive. And without food, the zombies will begin to starve. That's okay. Oh, look, there's our new pop-up. We destroyed China. Yeah, nice. Or was that Korea? Oh, it was Korea. Well, whatever. Okay, so we sent 5 million zombies from Australia to New Zealand. But that's not enough. We need more. We need more. Oh, man, look at, look at that. Finland, all of Scandinavia just got flooded with zombies. Spain has fallen to zombies. All right. More zombies. Go finish off New Zealand. I don't want any survivors. I want all zombies. Uh, yeah. Go... Go to Canada. Invade Canada. Go on. Go on. Go on. Invade Canada. There goes the UK. There goes India. India's been flooded with zombies. Oh, man. This is great. Australia's flooded with zombies. There goes Iceland. There goes Canada. Look at that. 18 million zombies just flooded Canada. Do it again. Don't stop now. Let's watch Greenland. It's going to go from zero to full. There goes the Caribbean. Good, good. There goes Pakistan. 10 million zombies just landed in Greenland. 10 million zombies just landed in Greenland. 10 million just landed. <laughs> Goodbye, Greenland. Six more million in New Zealand. ZCOM project activated in Canada. In response to the growing zombie threat, a powerful military organization called ZCOM has been set up. Its mission? Defend humanity from the dead. Oh, come on. Don't you want some immortality? All right, so ZCOM gets... Uh, a little uh, castle thing with this tower, and the way you, the way you deal with Zcom is either you let them grow and they kill you, or you kill them fast and they die horribly. So we're gonna send some of our 162 million zombies from the USA 
into Canada. And the goal of these zombies is to kill the Zcom project. If we kill it now before it spreads, then we're golden. You see these little blue airplanes? The light blue airplanes carry, uh, what do you call it, research progress for the cure. If you see a dark blue airplane, that is the Zcom project setting up a new base somewhere. And we don't want that to happen. We do not want the Zcom project to set up a, a new base somewhere. Uh, you know, we could do with another... No, we could do with some upgrades, actually. If we're going to be fighting Zcom, we need some upgrades. Uh, yeah, let's get some dermal calcification. Uh, we'll get cranial elephantitis. We'll get some nice upgrades. There goes Greenland. Goodbye, Greenland. Goodbye. All right, there we go. Give me the elephantitis, baby. Yeah. Uh, adenoma triggers mutated growth hormones, which encourage bone growth in the skull. It gives zombie combat advantage. Nice. And bone displays. We'll get that as well. 23 points, though. That's a lot of, lot of points. Oh, there we go. Pop-ups. Pop-ups. Okay, so how's Canada going to go? Are we, are we going to beat them? Are we going to beat this stupid Zcom project? Five million. No, we didn't beat them. Fuck. Send more. Send more. We have 164 million zombies in the USA. Send more. Send more. Let's get our next upgrade. Yes. Just keep upgrading down here. Everything, everything below the zombie face down here is just bonuses for your zombies. Might as well just get them all. Oh man, we almost have the entire world infected. Where is not, where is not infected? Um, where is not fully infected? Okay, New Zealand needs a little bit of assistance, uh, getting to their goal. Japan still has a little bit of holdout. I think we'll be okay there, though. The, the The amount of blue was just so tiny. France still has a little bit of holdout. Norway has a bit of holdout. Finland has some holdout, surprisingly. The Baltic, might, we might need to flood the Baltic a little more. Central Europe, we're going to have to do, yeah, I think we're going to have to do some of these. Uh, Iceland was done, though, right? Yeah, Iceland's done. Greenland's done. Uh, South America, Bolivia, and Argentina are still holding out a little bit. Uh, and the USA and Canada. Okay, so, yeah, we have our targets. We have our targets. Okay. Okay. Targets for zombie aggression. Oh, there we go. We just we just sent 11 million zombies to Canada. I think that'll be enough for Canada, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's send another flood of 87 million zombies into Argentina. And let's send another flood from Peru into Bolivia. And let's send... Oh, we don't have enough points. It costs four points for each flood. Let's send another flood to New Zealand. Just go finish off that island, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, another flood from Mexico to the USA, and from the USA to Canada. Make it happen. The zombies are real. The zombies are real. Oh man, so good. 18 points. Okay. Not sure we need it, but there it is. 18 points. Okay, Argentina has finished. New Zealand has finished. Bolivia finished. Okay. Um, Finland's done. Norway's done. The Baltic will finish soon. USA is done. Canada is just that, that one holdout. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. Kill that Zcom project. I hate that Zcom project. Oh, are we going to get him? We're going to get him. We're going to get him. The zombies are winning. You can tell who's winning the fight based on the blue disappearing. If the blue disappears, then you're winning the fight. If it doesn't, then you're losing the fight. Get him. This is the last scrap of humanity left alive. Kill them all. I think we've got him. I think we've got him. Yes! Zcom destroyed in Canada. The Zcom main base in Canada has been destroyed by an overwhelming force of zombies. There were no survivors. Oh, good times. All right, so now we have to scour the planet for healthy people. Where the hell do we have healthy people? People who are not infected. Is it Central Europe? No? Well, where the hell is healthy? Boom, 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 boom. Looking for a blue bar. Where's the blue bar? Non, Non-zombic. No, New Zealand's done. Japan is done. Russia's done. China's done. And pretty much done. I think we have it. So what's missing? Oh, yeah. Who's 
Who is still healthy? I wish you could click on this and see where they are. I don't know where they are. Uh, there's no healthy nation. Oh, Italy is part... Okay, so they blink blue. They blink blue because they're still healthy. Okay, Italy is still got some blue. Oh, that's not going to last. We'll send a flood over from uh, the, Bal the Balkans. Go get them. Go get them. There goes Italy. All right, that's it. We're done. Woohoo! We have destroyed the world. Immortality has destroyed humanity. Mindless zombies infected with immortality have hunted down and consumed the last human survivors. The zombies will decay, and soon the whole world will be empty. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, that feels great. Doesn't it feel great to destroy the world with zombies? Yeah, why not? Victory! Immortality and its zombies have consumed humanity. There is nothing left. Happy day. 563 days to destroy humanity. Good times. And you can just fast forward, you can watch the whole thing over again. <laughs> My necrovirus, immortality, just consumed the world in 563 days. Nice. You can barely even see the spread. I wish there was like a speed 4 or something for this shit. Eh. Oh well. Great. The following gene has been discovered and unlocked. Creationist. Oh, I don't even know what that does. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. That was the Necrovirus. You have to, you don't have to get everywhere. We got lucky. We actually got our foot in the door in every country in the world. Um, that was difficult to get to. We got to the difficult ones like Greenland, Madagascar, New Guinea, New Zealand. We got to Caribbean. We got to all the all the all the the tough to get ones, which is unusual. But it doesn't really matter with the zombies. As long as you get high population nations like China, India, uh, the USA, anything that has a high population. You can just use the zombie hordes to flood over the border and kill everybody. Or turn them into zombies. Just bite them, right? A friendly bite. You know? I, oh, that's what I should have I should have called this virus free hugs. Oh, well. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. That was the Necroa virus. We'll probably come back and do some more of the fun ones next time. I'll see you then. Have a good day.